Good evening, and thank you so much for joining us. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Stephen Clark. Cortez Smith had a bright future ahead of him. He was an engineering student and defensive rookie of the year last year. He was gunned down outside a club near Shelby and Lardin. Investigators say it happened after an argument. Action News reporter Glenda Lewis is live in Detroit tonight with the very latest on this story. Glenda? Well, Carol and Stephen, as you can imagine, it is a shock to the system for many students here who are just finding out and for a very close-knit football team. My understanding of the football team uh, is a very close-knit team. Uh, a lot of bonding, and uh, my understanding is uh, he was well life. Wayne State University campus police chief Anthony Holt says the hurtful news about the death of Junior Warriors cornerback Cortez Smith is just starting to sink in. I know the football team and the athletic department are taking steps to, uh, you know, work with the players because obviously they're very uh, touched and uh, emotionally by what took place. Detroit police say 20-year-old Smith was shot in the chest and in the head after he and a friend got into an argument with a group of five in a parking lot downtown near Shelby and Larnard. Smith was the school's 2010 Defensive Rookie of the Year and an electrical engineering major with a bright smile and future. It's sad to see that, but it's, at the same time, it's just sad to see any type of senseless crime where life is lost, so no matter who it is. The 25-year-old man with Cortez was shot in the leg. He's in temporary serious condition. This investigation is in the hands of Detroit police, but the dean of students here at Wayne State telling me tonight that they will be here in support of any student football team, any student group that needs it to get through. Live on campus, I'm Glenda Lewis. Back to you. All right, Glenda, thank you for that update tonight.